Hello, this is Dr. Vio Cardoso from Creative Election, and in today's Teardown, we're going to take a look at the MacBook Air and the MacBook uh, 2007 edition, and we'll inspect them with our X-ray. Uh, so on the left, you have uh, 2014 11-inch uh, MacBook Air, and uh, on the right, you have the 2007 13-inch uh, uh, MacBook, the black MacBook, that um, at the time uh, it was a fairly high-end MacBook that, that was in the market, and as time went by, it became the entry-level uh, laptop offered by Apple. Uh, here are the, the specs for uh, the black MacBook. Uh, it, is, it is a 1280 by 800 resolution screen with a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core Duo. And some of the interesting things here, for example, uh, is a 2 gigabyte uh, uh, SD RAM, 250 gigabyte of uh, hard disk, and a wide range of ports uh, to interface uh, with the laptop. So here's the real-time inspection of the uh, MacBook. And as you can see on the left here, you have um, the battery pack. And uh, moving towards the right, uh, you're going to see the um, hard disk. And uh, what we're doing here is in real time collecting several images uh, of the of this MacBook, and uh, we're going to stitch them together uh, so that you will be able to see the whole um, laptop in uh, in one image. Uh, so that's the uh, DVD player. You can see the coils of the of the motor that drives uh, it spins the uh, DVD and the track that moves the laser up and down. and the other mechanics of the laptop, including the thermal to cool down the video card and the main processor. Uh, moving to the left towards the interface port and uh, including the USBs, audio jack, microphone, uh, down back uh, to the battery, battery pack. And the X-ray <clears throat> of this MacBook shows uh, uh, you know several very interesting features here. Uh, let's start with the bottom right. You have here the um, hard disk. You can see the um, electric motor here of the hard disk. Uh, here on the left you have the uh, battery, uh, three cell battery. The this device that you see here is the um, uh, DVD player. So that's the motor that spins the disk. And this is the track that moves the laser back and forth to read uh, your DVD. Uh, the two memory sticks here, uh, the SD-RAM sticks. Uh, the big cooling fan that uh, blows air through this uh, um, uh, heat sink that connects to the video, um, to the main processor here, and the video processor. Then on the left, uh, you have several ports. Uh, including Ethernet port, uh, power charger, uh, you have um, the uh, composite video, uh, USBs, and audio and a microphone. And here on the right, uh, you have um, you know you can see the hinge and, and some other features of the of this Mac. Then <clears throat> looking at the 11-inch MacBook Air, uh, it's it has a higher Resolution screen. Uh, the, the processor is not much faster than compared to the 2.4 gigahertz uh, that we have in 2007. Uh, twice as much memory, four gigabytes instead of two. And um, the hard disk here, uh, it's not a t you know a traditional hard disk. We have a, it's a flash, so it's a, a, a solid state type of uh, storage and uh, two USB ports and just one Thunderbolt uh, port on this laptop. Right, so in a similar manner, we did a real-time inspection of the MacBook Air and um, in the same way we started uh, taking X-ray images from the bottom left of the, uh, of the laptop. Where you can see the battery pack, the power management system, and we took several images that we then stitched together uh, to build a large image of the whole uh, laptop, uh, as you're going to see um, soon. And, but for now, we can see a higher magnification of several different parts of the laptop, including the Thunderbolt, the USB ports, 
the power connector, uh, the uh, solid state hard disk, the SD RAM, and the cooling channel that connects to the cooling fan that you can see right there. And finally, to the left of the laptop, you can see the power charger, another USB port, the audio jack, the two microphones in the lab. And the interesting thing to see here is that most of the laptop, most of the case is actually batteries. You see all those these dark rectangles. These are all batteries um, that are combined in this package. Uh, and that on the top here uh, is the motherboard. So all the computer is sitting right here. Uh, you know, Apple's still using this uh, thermal sink that, that <clears throat> takes heat away from uh, the main processor here, and this is the fan that uh, blows uh, air uh, to cool down this uh, the heat sink. Uh, here on the left, you have uh, the power connector and a uh, USB port and the audio jack. You have here a speaker on the left, a speaker on the right for the stereo audio. Uh, the dual microphones, you can see the two microphones here and here. Those are the small uh, MAMS uh, microphones. And... Um, uh, you have a uh, wide range of uh, memory here for the um, uh, SDRAM. ram <clears throat> So, as you can see, oh, here on the right you have the USB and then the Thunderbolt port here. And hinges for the laptop cover, here on the left and the right. And these are the flex circuits that power the, um, the, the display. So, what's interesting to see is that uh, you know, the battery has taken over this modern device. So we're looking at a 2007 iPhone. You know, most of the phone was, you know, covered by electronics. And um, the battery is this uh, darker area here underneath all the electronics. And if we compare a 2007 iPhone with a 2014 iPhone 6, what you can see is that the battery, much like with the laptop, has taken over most of the space inside these modern electronic devices. So as you can see here, this is the battery for the iPhone 6 Plus, and this small rectangle here on the right and on the top is the is where the uh, all the electronics is uh, is located. For more information, please contact us at 760-752-1192 or find us online at creativeelectron.com. Thanks.